hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we are talking all about skin guys if you've been here for like i don't know a little bit on this channel you can even scroll down below look at my chest y'all my chest was not always like this it was not always like this y'all it had like dark marks everywhere even on my back as well so i have back knee and chest chest knee chest knee chest acne but what if you put it together how how do we say it <laughs> i'm not sure but all i know is i had all them dark marks and thankfully the past you know few months it's just been going down and down and down and i know exactly what i've been doing so i was like i need to share it because well, i'm not gonna gatekeep i'm not gonna gatekeep um but yeah honestly my skin has transformed significantly and obviously as you can tell i've still got like a journey to go there is still a few bits left but the good news is it's going it's going and i'm not as insecure about it as i used to be i'm gonna dive right into it because i don't know waste your time i know why you came here girl first thing african sponge i've been using this practically all my life so you may be wondering like okay why has it make a difference now when you didn't back then when you were using like you know african sponge back then too guys it's because of the combination but i'm still gonna show y'all because it's still really really good it's a great exfoliator and it's done me wonders obviously alongside the product that i'm gonna show you and like actually like focusing on the areas that need scrubbing properly this what have I been using? Guys, I'll be showering with this. <laughs> I know. So, um, over the past few months, I remember when this was trending actually on TikTok. And like everybody else, they were like, oh my days, this will brighten your under eyes. It will get rid of like, you know, any marks you've got on your face. And I'm like, well, I've got a problem somewhere else. And that's right on my chest and my back. So how do we get it? How do we get rid of it? I went ahead and bought it. This is four quid, y'all, from Boots. Four quid. This thing came in so handy and it helped me significantly. And you know, I'll be using it on my face and on my chest. But then, as time went on, I'm like, this thing can get very soapy. I'm like, I'm gonna literally use it with the African sponge and just rub it in on my chest a little bit. Guys, guys, I'm talking to y'all. I started seeing changes. I started seeing some of my black marks fading. I'm like, wait, what? Is this thing actually working? So once in a while, maybe like once a week, I will use this to actually shower because it's very soapy. Again, you can actually use your normal shower gel to shower with your sponge. And then afterwards, you can then take a little bit of this to kind of like focus on your chest area or your back. Or you can use it to shower your whole body, which is what I do once in a week. Once a week. Um, but yeah, this is it, y'all. This is literally the brightening cleansing gel, vitamin C from Boots. And alongside this, you may be asking, what do I use? Well, 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 guys, look no further. I've got you covered. I've got you covered. SPF. Y'all, SPF is truly your best friend. People say it all the time, use SPF, use SPF on your face, use SPF this, use SPF that. I'm such an advocate for SPF. It's so good. It's done me wonders. Obviously, I use this Bondi Sands. As you can tell, I need to top up. It's got just a little bit left. This has actually lasted me a longer time than I thought. So I'm really impressed with this. I always get SPF 50 plus above or SPF 30 at a minimum. Um, I do have one that is SPF 15, but anyways, you get it. But yeah, the higher the better, in my opinion, because then, you know, you're better protected. Even in winter, guys, I still try my best to use SPF. So right now, I've literally got SPF on my chest. And it's just great. It doesn't leave a white cast. It's amazing. But at least I can understand, like, using this every day, it will run out quicker. I mean, it's not expensive, but it is expensive compared to, like, other ones that I'm going to show you. Um, but again, you can get this from Beats. Guys, this too. Lido, you need to sponsor me the same for beats. But guys, these two, these two products. Okay, this this literally is finished. This is the moisturizing one. This thing is so moisturizing, by the way, and it's what two pound fifty at the time when I bought it. And this one is literally the clear one, so you can actually use this on your makeup. 
I use this on my face as well. I use this on my face. But literally after I come out of the shower, SPF. I'm going to show you some of the body creams I use as well. But like if I'm lying in a home and I don't want to do much, SPF. But actually this is also the body cream I've been using. You can tell I've been digging in. This was actually a present from a friend when they went to Ghana. It's the African, it's literally in Kuto, which basically means shea butter. Um, refined and it's got some oils in here. It's got lavender oil, vitamin E, coconut oil. It's got glycerin. It's amazing. Anyway, I think since I started using this as well, it's helped me. But if you don't have this, which I know a lot of people may not because again, it's from Ghana. My everyday, which has been doing the job. You literally cannot go wrong with Vaseline. I like the baby one because it's got like that um, powdery smell and I really really like it but I also use normal cocoa butter this is literally a new one because I finished my previous one cocoa butter you can't go wrong if you want things that is going to keep your skin moisturized and doing all of this and then adding in your sunscreen your SPF chef kiss last but not least obviously very important is I also exfoliate I got this from Boots and this is the vitamin E uh, skincare collection they have like I also use this which the serum on my face um but yeah this is like literally the sugar and oil body scrub and I use this to like scrub on my legs scrub on my chest scrub on my back and again using this alongside the African sponge it's gonna it's gonna do you so well I just be loving it so all of these things in combination has literally transformed my skin all these products I'm showing you are so inexpensive Compared to like, you know, trying to like go the expensive route and then you still don't see progress. But this I'm actually seeing progress and they are not costing me a bunch, which is great. I mean, it would be even better if they start sponsoring me. You can literally get them from Boot and from Super Drugs. These are the two places that I often get all of these and you are good. But SPF is truly, truly, truly your best friend and exfoliating your skin and just making sure your skin is not dry, especially at your chest area. And it's it's been helping. I try my hardest as well. I really, really, really do try and often fail. I'm not picking and popping any pimples that come. Um, it's really, 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 really hard because sometimes I'm like, but I know you shouldn't though. Don't, don't be like me and be popping the pimples, guys. Let it be leave it alone and just like put your product on it so if it's like spf on that area you can put it i have like other creams that i can show you guys in another video that is like literally for like bumpy or like dry or irritated you kind of just i take a scoop of them and I put it on in fact let me get it and show you this nowadays this is what i try to do this is literally the demo v advanced skincare and it's a smoothing lotion and basically it's for like bumpy, very dry and rough skin and ingrown hair. Obviously I don't have no ingrown on my chest, but you get the point. You can use this in other areas of your body if you need it. But personally it's been helping like with like not touching my pimple and kind of put it on in hopes that it will make it go down. You can use this like this has been, I've been using this. I can't lie to you, but it hasn't been the thing that I've been using for my chest. That's so why I wasn't going to talk about it before. But it's something that I absolutely love as well. So if you do, you know, you have like even rougher skin than me. It's very bumpy, very dry. Then I recommend you get this. And you can use it for other areas of your body, as I said. Wink, wink. <laughs> and guys, that's it. So let me know if you have any more tips for me as well. I'm always open to like take tips. And anything that you've been doing in your personal life that has been helping you. But also if some of the things I've said here, you're going to go and buy for yourself. Um, let me know in the comment section below and I hope your skin starts to improve and all the best on your skincare journey Love y'all. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video Bye